guys, this is Fenchi. Today, I am going to show you how to recreate a lesion without OFX and without plugins. This could be particularly handy for those of you that don't have like the studio version of Resolve and don't have access to this OFX. And also like for those of you that want like to tailor the halation and to make it unique. So halation to explain it quickly is an effect that is produced in the bright regions of a film. In the celluloid, the light is entering three layers in this order, blue, green, and red. So if you see on the 3D model, the light of the bright region is too harsh for it to be absorbed by the three layers. So then like goes to the anti halation layer and bonds back to a red or green. So that's why you are seeing in film this red halo or this goldish halo like these ones. So in this tutorial, we will emulate from scratch the halation knowing these principles. Okay, let's jump right in. Okay, here we are guys in our timeline. So, uh, so far I just like done a quick look uh, to have it like uh, you know to work our alation uh, on it so what I have done is just um, uh, converting my uh, S-Log footage to a Cineon uh, color space uh, to apply a 2-383 uh, uh, LUT this is the D65 that I've just like you know uh, taken like from the film looks um, I just like done a balance with the LGG and um, a quick look with the split tones just like to have this very intense um, blue cyan shadows. For halation, normally what we are all doing is uh, when for example I do my halation because I have the studio version, I'm just gonna go to uh, the, plug the OFX and take halation and uh, do my halation like on this uh, side here. I like to do my halation like uh, before all my grades. So this is very convenient uh, when you have actually DaVinci Resolve Studio, but um, I know that there's some people that have like uh, the free version of DaVinci Resolve, but like would like to have this kind of um, effect, you know, on the image. And uh, I'm just gonna show you how to emulate uh, a film halation from scratch. So what are we gonna do is create a node before uh, all our uh, nodes. So we create two nodes, we select these two nodes, and we're gonna create a compound node. To go to the compound node, we just right click and uh, go to show compound node. So in this, uh, I want you to drop on both of the nodes the color space transform. Okay, and color space transform. So we're gonna do a sandwich where we're gonna go from uh, the Rec 709 color space, which is my uh, timeline color space, uh, Rec 709 scene. Uh, to uh, the linear space. Why we are doing this? It's because uh, with the linear space, we know what's the weight of the light, uh, so it's easier to recreate uh, the halation, you know, around uh, this weight because we are seeing where weight of the highlight is the most intense. We are going uh, in. So for in, I want you to go. Uh, from uh, input color space rec 709 input gamma uh, s log 3 so for me it's like s log 3 for uh, your other uh, cameras you know like you just uh, do accordingly um, rec 709 output color space and output gamma linear okay so this linear space show you like where is the weight of the light so all the highlights are represented in this color space so uh input color space rec 709 input gamma linear so this is like the same but inverted um output color space is going to be rec 709 and output gamma s log 3 yeah okay so uh, I'm just going to call that out 
and so if you see if I disable or enable nothing happened because we are only uh, going to grade our halation inside this sandwich so to go inside you just I create a node before and what you I want you to do is right click and add a layer node for this layer node I want you to composite go to composite mode and go to add the bottom layer of this layer node I want you to create two nodes and uh, we're gonna label that curves first and we're gonna label this blur so once it's done we're gonna go to curves and we're gonna select the range of highlights that we want I go to my highlight mode here and uh, I'm just like, gonna take my curves and go down and I'm gonna select which highlights I want to affect so if I want like you know for example if I want my halation to not affect that much my image I'm just like gonna go like to a tinier range or uh, if I want more then like I would go like to a bigger range okay so then like you just um, fine-tune this as your taste just like gonna go like this and so blur blur will like create this uh, separation of uh, color in the highlights that we really like uh, in the halation so um, for this you unlink the radius and you go up with your red and if you see what's happening I'm going to show you here uh, when I go up it creates some red around uh, my subject because my subject is hit is yes in English is hit is hit by the light <laughs> so then like um, this creates like this halo that we really like so um, this uh, reduce like will only create a, a red blur around uh, for halation we can add a bit of green so it's gonna make it a bit more goldish so uh, let's go a bit intense for the sake of the example and this is what we have uh, let's see what we can do a bit more oh yeah a bit more a bit more <laughs> and yes that's what we have so if I do before and after you can see like uh, we we have more things going on so before and after my spread is uh, actually a bit uh, too intense so I'm just gonna reduce and I want like something a bit sharper in terms of reds so I just reduce the green so the green like would make the the red sharper if I reduce the green huh? um, and if I reduce actually the, the red uh, it will uh, reduce the spread so this is like what we have so we can verify before and after which is pretty fun actually so this is like how you create by scratch so you can come back to your uh, main node and you can just like label this halation and uh, what is convenient if for example you don't have DaVinci Resolve uh, Studio what you can do is uh, save this as a power grid and after like put back in your timelines over and over so it's like your own tiny plugin also guys like if you want to only affect for example your subject with halation and not so much uh, windows or, or uh, outside like outdoor things like like the sky uh, for it to clip what you can do is just separate it with a vignette and uh, just like affect uh, one subject for example so if you see um, here only my subject is affected with halation but not my uh, environment so if you see this is before this is after and I don't have uh, this effect on uh, the window that like I had because um, 
I want, for example, sometimes to keep my highlights contained. So uh, this is the end of the video. I hope uh, the tutorial helped and um, will make you want like to try to make your own halation and like test out like few techniques to make like a real unique halation. If you have like any other suggestion for looks, uh, video tutorials, uh, just drop it uh, in the comments below. I uh, would be really happy like to have some suggestions. And um, yeah, I see you next week. See you guys. <laughs>